The essence of this man starts with family and extends into his business life. He's a caring person. He cares about who he does business with, whether you're a competitor, a customer, or a peer. It's a special quality that he brings to our business that you don't often see. He's a trusting, wonderful guy that says what he does and does what he says. You never see the guy down, and he's always smiling. He's upbeat. He tries to make everybody around him a little bit better. He really lives by what he believes, and he believes in treating people right and doing the right thing. His credibility as a man and gentleman, I think, are second to none. He gets down to business in a very thoughtful way, and he's a lot of fun. He is honest, he is genuine, he is sincere, he cares on the personal side as well as on the business side. He's just an incredibly wonderful human being, and there is no one more deserving of the GNBC Lifetime Achievement Award than my dear friend, Jerry Brown. I've had the privilege of meeting a lot of good people in this industry, but I would consider Jerry Brown a true gentleman of the industry. He is a born leader. Jerry's the kind of guy that people go to for advice and encouragement, and he does it very well. Jerry will sit back, Jerry will analyze, Jerry will think, and when Jerry speaks, everybody listens. When Jerry speaks, it's always powerful, it's always well thought out, it's always meaningful, and in some cases, actually took us down a different direction, which in, in retrospect was the direction we needed to go in. Well, I think one thing unique about Jerry is if you have a business relationship with Jerry, that you eventually turn into a friend of Jerry's. It's just the way the guys made. If I had to use one word to describe Jerry, I'd say integrity. People love to work with him, love to interact with him. He's always got a smile on his face. So he's either up to something or he knows something that other people don't know. But when you have Jerry Brown involved, you know it's gonna be a class operation. He's a great role model for a lot of us in the industry. He comes from a large family. His mother is uh, one of eight, and I think his father was one of maybe nine both large families, and they spent a lot of family time together, and uh, he's still very close to uh, his aunts and uncles. I thought he was tall, handsome, well-dressed, and I was very impressed by him, but I thought he was a little cocky, too. <laughs> he's got this saying that he's taken up as we have gotten to this point, and he says it's faith, family, friends, and fun. I've known Jerry since the days when we both worked for Cheesebro Ponds, and Jerry was the uh, central division manager in Chicago, and I had the privilege of following him in that role, and he went on to uh, work in our foods business, running a piece of our ragu business at the time, and then became part of the uh, industry development group about 15 years ago, and he and Glenna have been doing that role for the last 15, 16 years. Jerry took that job and took it well beyond what anybody else has done in this industry about creating the brand for Unilever. And when you do that, you create a brand for yourself. So the name Jerry Brown is a very, very strong brand in the industry that we should all hope to have someday. I also know just from personal reputation of talking to many, many retailers, how highly they hold Jerry in high regard. Jerry always had Unilever and the retailer's best interest at heart. I remember sitting in meetings a couple of very first times and just kicking around ideas of things that we wanted to do inside of our organization. And Jerry helped take those items back to uh, Unilever and um, helped bring those to life. Jerry Brown has, has given so much to the industry. He's given so much to his company. Unilever is a stronger company because of the work that Jerry Brown did prior to taking the job he has now and after he became in charge of, of industry and customer development. His contributions not only to the industry, but GNBC in particular, have been outstanding. I, I think he's been in every committee there is at GNBC. He's had a leadership role in most of them, and he's just represented the industry and GNBC so well over the last 15 years from, from my interaction with him. He's been an incredible leader. He's chaired our membership advisory board, our health beauty wellness advisory board. In fact, he was the first HBW advisory board member who is an actual voting member of the GMDC board of directors. Jerry is always thinking. 
Sometimes he may absolutely agree with what you were saying, but he'll still counterpunch things because he wants to get the broader group's perspective on, are we really doing the right thing before we move forward? One of the biggest influences is when Jerry was the chairman of the membership advisory board, he really helped really focus in on the key things that need to be done to attract more members, and we grew a lot as an association as when Jerry was the chairman. Another incredible thing about Jerry is he's made sure that he's transitioning not just these duties inside Unilever, but he's transitioning ownership of GMDC over to new people inside Unilever. Jerry and Mark both have done a wonderful job with the GMDC organization in positioning Unilever and being our ambassador to the association. And I would hope that I can continue the momentum that's there and, and hopefully it just gets better as the years go by. Well, we have right now 11 grandchildren and we've been blessed to be able to be involved in their lives. And they have dubbed Grandpa the king of fun. He and Glenna have purchased a home at the Villages, which is just north of Orlando, and he someday will be the mayor of the Villages. <laughs> he loves the Villages. Jerry Brown and tomatoes are not a good combination. Jerry and I had gone out, it was kind of a site inspection, and uh, I took him to a, a, a wonderful golf club and we had lunch. And they were picking it up, we weren't paying for it. And they brought the luncheon entree to our table and Jerry looked at it and said, are those tomatoes? Got white, began to sweat. It was as if kryptonite was put in front of Superman. And I looked at the plate and I couldn't find tomatoes unless you really got close and there were little, tiny, em emulsified pieces. He made a big deal, brought over the maitre d', got to take this back and all. I'm looking at Jerry, he said, Jerry, this is free. This is free, can't you eat this? So from those years on, we would actually go out to dinner and ask the restaurateur to bring a plate of tomatoes just to watch him sweat. This candy thing, it concerns me a little bit. There's candy in the briefcase, there's candy in the nightstand, there's candy in the glove box. I can tell you a story about, we were on a cruise and they had this incredible ice cream bar and you could have all the ice cream you wanted and Jerry, all he wanted was candy. So he had my wife go up and talk him into just giving him a bowl of candy when you're not supposed to get candy without getting ice cream. It was a little embarrassing, frankly, because there were other kids and stuff there watching him that, that couldn't believe they were giving him all this candy. I think they actually ran out of one candy. In fact, I think they ran out of peanut M&Ms at the ice cream bar because of Jerry. And I think he was banned from that at the end of the cruise, if I remember correctly. But I never go anywhere thinking or talking about Jerry Brown without some M&Ms. I mean, you've got to have those for Jerry Brown. Well, Jerry Brown is what I would call a Tommy Bahama diva but it's what not to wear. He has Tommy Bahama shirts with writings on it. He has Tommy Bahama shirts with flowers on it. He has Tommy Bahama shirts with Tommy Bahama on it. I've never seen a man that has more Tommy Bahama shirts. You just feel better about yourself when you're around Jerry Brown. Everything he does, he influences things to enhance it. And he enhanced GMDC in a big way. He's a friend. He's a mentor, and to me, he's a role model. He's done an outstanding job in this industry. And he should be proud of what he's accomplished. He spent 30 plus years in a global organization at an extremely high level, and Jerry excelled at every level he was given. He's just gotten better and better. I can't believe he's actually retiring because he's got so much energy, so many great ideas, and so much passion around the industry. Of all the folks and recipients I've seen over the years, I'm delighted that, that he is finally being recognized. And it's almost like part of you, part of your family getting, getting that, that, that award too. He represents all of us, and I think that's important. Jerry, congratulations on winning the GMDC Lifetime Achievement Award. It's well deserved, and thanks for your friendship over this past 15 years. Jerry, congratulations, it's so well deserved. And Glenna, you've been such a wonderful support. You deserve this as well. We'll see you at the and villages. We'll see you at the villages. Jerry, congratulations. I can't believe that you're not gonna be around anymore, but I just want you to know that I can't think of anybody who deserves this anymore. I know we'll see you around. You love this business too much to just completely walk away and not spend some more time with us. And so while I congratulate you, I look forward to seeing you again.
Jerry, congratulations on the Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, we love you, buddy. There's nobody that deserved it more than you. Uh, know full well that Pat and I are going to miss you and Glenna so much in this industry. You're, you're our best friends, and uh, again, congratulations. Congratulations, Jerry. Um, couldn't happen to a better guy. I wish you well, and thanks for all that you've done for myself, and thanks for all you've done in this industry. You're doing an outstanding job. Thank you. Jerry, congratulations. I couldn't be happier for you and Glenna, and good luck to both of you. Jerry and Glenna, I'm very proud that you have received the GMDC Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, I'm also very honored that I have an opportunity to follow Jerry, you in this role, and I will promise to do my best, and uh, I wish you and Glenna all the best of happiness in your retirement days, and enjoy the days down to Village. God bless. Jerry, congratulations. We're all gonna miss you, but we know we're gonna spend more time with you. Unfortunately, you're gonna be beating us more in golf right, right now. That's the only thing that we're gonna be sad about. But Jerry, the best of life to you and Glenna, the best of health and the best to you and your family. And we look forward to spending more time with you. Jerry, Glenna and I are honored to call you and Glenna our dear friends. Congratulations on this award. JB, you don't think you've had an influence on me over all these years? I can't thank you enough, buddy, for all you've done for this association. This award is so, so very, very well deserved. Congratulations to you and Glenna from Annie and me. We love you too and look forward to spending plenty of time with you in the villages. Jerry, I can't tell you how proud I am of you in your personal life and in your career. We've had a lot of fun together and it's been very exciting. You've set a good example for our children and even for our grandchildren. I can't tell you how happy I am that you are being honored this way and that we can be here with you and share in this time. I'm looking forward to um, our next phase of life and all I can say is the villages here we come.